Southeast Lineman Training Center was established in 1999 in Trenton, Georgia. What began with one building and one pole circle has now grown to three campuses, over 100 acres of training grounds, and an electrical line worker program sought after by many. The program is strenuous and today is day one for 380 new students. Today is registration. Um, today they'll be signing in, getting their shirts and gloves, also getting their belts and boots sized up, uh, getting ready for uh, next week when we start getting on the poles. Uh, there'll be a lot of people. It'll be a little bit uh, scary at first. But once they get in there and we start doing tools and rules and everything, everything starts calming down. We get them on the poles, settle them down a little bit, and uh, we start learning. So let's side right now. What got me into this industry was Katrina in 2005, and when it hit, uh, Laurel was pretty hit pretty bad in the middle of Mississippi, and while I was there selling four-wheelers during that time, well, I wasn't selling them, I was working on the counter, um, but during that time, a lot of contractors came in. Pike Electric was one of the biggest ones, and when they came in that day, it was a bunch of them, it was probably you know, 14, 15 guys that came in, with checks that they had gotten from working. And when they came in and were basically buying four-wheelers and getting money back out of their checks, I had to ask them, hey, what do y'all do for a living? Because I want to do what you're doing. I wanted that kind of money. Everybody got gloves? Okay. Clear safety glasses. And I wanted to get my life together. I really wasn't all there yet. Still working them little seven, eight dollar an hour jobs just to try to make it working two jobs of that. So um, when they tell me about it, you know, I got in touch with some people back home and I went to work for um, Making Electric out of Mississippi. And working there, that's when they sent me to a my first ever climbing school through TVPPA. And that climbing school was a one week deal. And this is when we free climbed. Yeah. That little pick is always going to be against the pole. These little teeth are always going to be against the pole. If you ever manage to put this belt on somehow and something's turned outside, it's not on correctly. They have to be against the pole. Okay? The first thing you want to do when you're installing these hooks, take your pant leg and run it up just a little bit. The main thing is, is I don't want the bottom of your pants down in your bottom strap. You want it, it'll restrict your range of motion while you're climbing. And the next thing is, we want to tighten that thing up good and snug. You know, you always want to better yourself. I'd gotten word that a guy um, locally from the local co-op around us, uh, Four County, they were losing a guy and they were planning on hiring one. I did the interview process and boom, I mean, they gave me the job. But they started me as a year one apprentice. And they also told me in that interview that, you know, hey, if you're gonna work for us, we're gonna send you to a climbing school. And I explained to them already that I'd already been to one and I had the paperwork and all that. They said, hey, we don't use them. This is the place we use, which is SLTC. Um, they're a 15 week program. Are you okay with that? Well, knowing me, I, I really wanted the job because first of all, it paid a little bit more and I knew that over time this would be a career for me. I didn't want just another job, I wanted a career. And I agreed to it. Um, even though in the back of my mind, I'm kind of like, well, I've already done this. Why do I need to do this? But hey, if I want a job with them and I want to make this a career, I got to do what they tell me to do, so. But you just get heartbroken because when they tell you that, you know, hey, you're not to our standard where you want to be. So we're going to basically bring you in as a brand new guy, we're not gonna bring you in as like a first year apprentice 
and bring you in and we want you to go back to this school because we want you trained like we want you trained. You're gonna take your thumb and two fingers and you're gonna squeeze that cam together and lean back and let that slack out. Now to take it up, all you're gonna do, I say all you're gonna do, but if you take and you take your right, your left hand and put it on that rope, take your right hand on this right here, over here. Oh. Now pull both hands at the same time. Now as soon as we get you on the pole, we're gonna see if you can do that. As soon as you get some weight on it. Look here, look here, look here. Watch this, it's magic. I'm gonna use these two fingers and this thumb. See this? Them two fingers and that thumb. All right, now square it up, twist them hips. All right, now elbow, pow! Money, honey. So I had Delbert, I was PC2, fall of 13, and uh, shit, my razor blade got down. All right, Where you huh? Why are you so nervous? He was tough. Fingers out, pow yell. Where's this go? In my belt. In your belt. But he, he taught you the right way the first time he remembered it. All right, everybody got three and nine. Yes, sir. He drank coffee in his coffee cup till noon, then he spit in the coffee cup the rest of the day, and then reused it the next day, repetitively. <laughs> so. I think you got a plate of spaghetti and you ain't even at a damn restaurant. Yeah, I, I'm so grateful that I was in his class. My first week it was nerve wracking because uh, growing up, I remember climbing trees, but like when you look down and you see all your weight is on those little hooks, um, you're very unsure. I enjoy this line of work because I went to college right after school which I feel like many people do, and it just was not for me. Um, I knew I wanted to be in a career that was hands-on, and that's how I learned. I had a leg up on the guy off the street that has never put a pair of hooks on, a belt, doesn't know his knots, uh, just the fundamentals. Last one goes again. Don't be, don't be last. Up, down, up, down. Nice and pretty. Got to be efficient. I mean, it, it's 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 a little bit of a struggle. We're all kind of sore, and we're all <laughs> we're all getting whipped up into shape. I mean, I'm gonna keep on going. Ain't nothing gonna stop me. Not everybody can do our job. Um, that's what's unique about it. I mean, a lot of people try. Some of them fail. Some of them succeed. Some of them are in between still. You know, they pass. They come through this school. They get through it, but. They're still unsure about the work or they're waiting on that dream job sitting by the house so they don't really pursue it as hard. Um, but I just know that if you really want it, you're gonna go after it and you're gonna do everything you can um, to get through it. I do have a little bit of pressure on me because I am a girl, but it's, it's not gonna stop me from showing what, they, what I got. I can be here as much as any of these guys. But most of the time, it's, we're just doing our job. I mean, no different than anybody else. You know, yeah, we get some praises during her games, getting the lights back on as quick as possible, but that's our job, that's what we do. And that's when the lineman comes out in everybody. When the storm hits, you hit a different gear, and you get after it. And that's what I like about linemen. She is the star in the corner.